The name of the song is Meditations on the Middle East, and I actually came up with the melody for it about four years ago, maybe even more than that, maybe five. And I wrote out the melody, just the beginning part, with like the first eight bars. And then I was going through all my songs six months ago. We were getting ready to rehearse, and I found that melody, and I found, wow, this would be great to do with just drums, because of all the freedom you have, as well as the array of sounds Corey can get uh, with, with percussion. Well, the first thing I saw of this piece was a drum part that was completely blank. We didn't so much discuss the structure of it beforehand as much as we did run through the material within it. And then I would maybe stop or just suggest in the middle of rehearsing it that like, oh, this would be a good section for like, maybe for me to just do like 10 seconds of coloring before you start another idea, just so that it has these arcs. It's kind of like an open dialogue about what's going on in the Middle East. The Middle East conflict has been going on for decades and decades, and it hopefully it doesn't go on for decades more, but it's a piece that I'm sure I will continue to workshop and change as events transpire in the world. It has these now distinct sections, and, and there's this interplay where, you know, maybe Mike's playing alone sometimes, or I'm playing alone sometimes. The melody, you know, is to introduce everything. It, it is you know, supposed to be mournful and somber. And then the march section, uh, it's, a, it's a really stark contrast. You know, it's supposed to be very slow and empty and kind of dull, actually, on purpose to, you know, kind of bring out that, that feeling about, you know, about war. Mike has it described in the notation as, as a dirge. So, similar idea, very mournful, slow. I was unsure of whether or not I wanted to embellish on, on the march beat, or if I wanted to just play through, through all of Mike's solo, just play a march. And um, I decided to, you know, just add in little comments on you know, whatever Mike was doing. We all know about the, the events that happened in Paris. And that's actually why I decided to play this for this webcast. Um, originally I had been thinking about doing a different song, but after that I knew I had to do this. And we definitely did play it differently than if we had, this webcast had happened last week. takes on a different meaning based on what, what context we're playing it in. You know, just the way the world is going today, whenever we play this song, there will be a different pertinent thing that, you know, has recently happened that it may be, it may speak more to. Music is, is truly a reflection of life and how one feels at any given time especially improvisational music such as jazz. It's very tied to how you're feeling it and the world around you. I'd like to be able to play it and not have that sort of baggage with it because it sort of just, it means a different thing when we're playing it so close to such, you know, an awful tragedy. It's a piece that I'm sure I will continue to workshop and change as events transpire in the world. And I hope, hope I don't have to do that for too much longer. It'll be, I'll be actually very happy when I no, long, no longer have to play that piece. But for now, you know, I, I do want to play it because I really believe that music, um, it, it's supposed to comfort the disturbed and disturb the comfortable. And it's supposed to provoke thought. So that, that was my aim with that piece.